work on the show. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm fascinated by your link between painting, the text, and the ceramic capacity of that, you know, bringing that form into, into play. Um, what, kind of, what kind of brought you to that point? So bringing those all these different elements together. Yeah. Um, about two, three years ago. No, I mean we're, we're talking about you know, a few years ago. Yeah. That process yeah. A few years ago, and I, I was absolutely obsessed with that. To the point where I could only really work on one painting at a time, which is a total fixation. That must have been quite difficult. Did you find it? That way of working it was stressful. Yeah, but I'd, I'd set myself that. I'd yeah, set it was my your own choice. Challenge. Yeah. I was absolutely in my own choice, but it, was, it got to the point where uh, it, was, it was like uh, it became very restrictive. I, I think of it as being stuck in the rectangle. Yeah. <laughs> and you're, you're certainly not stuck in the rectangle now. No, it's gone not the opposite at all. way. It, it's <laughs> just like. Sad all let loose in a beautiful way. Yeah. But, but you're really playing with that form that has a strong connection to where you live. Yeah. The capacity, which is the poetry, the ceramics. Now, when did the ceramics come in? Like the... The grimping? Yeah, the grimping. Uh, so, as I... Uh, yeah, so I, I went back to what I was doing when I was 16, making these ceramics of pillow shapes that I would paint into. Yeah. Um, and then I just had a sort of epiphany. I was actually on a date. And I was telling this guy about um, what I was making. Yeah. And uh, some like, quick edges. Yeah. I found it very funny. <laughs> Did you say that out loud? Yes. <laughs> what were you exploring? Um, I think essentially, well, it was past life regression or hypnosis. And we did it inside um, these Iron Age foodies, which are underground chambers in Cornwall. And uh, uh, we, were, we, were, we were exploring our subconscious minds, I guess. Yeah. And yeah. the idea of you know, having a past life memory. Yeah. And so it's, you were taken back into actually your early life, first of all. Yeah, um, so the, so as the hypnosis progresses, you start off um, with a childhood memory, and then you go to having a memory in the womb, and then on to your first past life memory, and so on. Mm -hmm. But I felt like I was half making most of it up to begin with, and then the, the further it progressed, the more visual and uh, so intense kind of it became. Yeah, it was, it, was, it, it was flooding and you were actually aware, so yeah. heightened, yeah. completely heightened state. Yeah, hypnosis, you, you become hyper aware of what's going on. It's not like you um, sort of go into some sort of trance where you're not aware of anything that's going mm -hmm. on. It's more like a hyper awareness. So it, it glows in UV light, so the main lights will be off and it will be glowing. Yeah. Um, yeah. Why did you want it to glow? Um, because I, I love UV um, paintings, I, yeah. like, you know, going to clubs and raves with UV yeah. lighting. And you've got things coming to life at night. Yeah, it's, it, it um, pops out, you know. In an amazing way. Absolutely. And I like the idea of the lettering sort of floating rather than being sort of set in. Yeah. Into, you know. Yeah, it does appear to be floating in the air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hovering. Yeah. Which is, yeah. So often you're starting off with some references to the 
to the sea in your other poems as well as yes um, and, and the landscape and yeah. So yeah, I'm, I pretty much always live by the sea, and I surf a lot. Mm -hmm. So that's yeah, a big influence, I guess. So, yeah, so the uh, the waves and the foam and the, the force of of the sea is yeah. really uh, it's, it's really gripped you. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. I mean, I guess I'm, I pr should probably say that everything that I do is on the one hand influenced in a very heartfelt way by you know. Uh, the landscape and the sea and stuff, but I'm also sort of playing with you know the idea of making a sea poem and the idea of making a, an on planet painting or a yeah. mug. Um, mm. In I would say sort of, it's not irony, but it's something to do with um, trying to be a bit cheeky and a bit sort of mischievous. You know? So this piece support your local international artists. Yeah. So you're setting local against international with local having a very particular meaning. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes derogatory and international being this wow you've made it. Yeah. Kind of that that's kind of the thing a lot of uh, trained artists aspire to. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so support your local international artists. Obviously that from my perspective that means you because you're in that place and <laughs> you must all see. <laughs> that. You don't mean that though. But, but from where I am as yeah. well, um, from where I am in Abergavenny, yeah. I, I can sometimes feel lost among yeah. local artists. Not that I appreciate, yeah. don't appreciate what they're doing, but yeah. sometimes you feel like you do something different and you could quite easily kind of lose yourself within your particular place if you don't keep, you know, getting out there and, yeah, yeah I don't know, something like that. I prefer the term locally based. This one, this form here, yeah. is yeah. recurring from one of your pastures. Yeah, William Scott. Now, William Scott, I don't get that reference, unfortunately. Is he uh, an author? No, he's a painter. He's a painter, okay. He is, he is one of the um, artists. Uh, I come up with an idea, I'll just write it in my notebook and then it might appear in one of these paintings. Yeah, you'll, you'll go back over it and yeah. pop it in. I really love the poet and painter David Rebilliard. Yeah. And um, he made these poem paintings, which have similar sort of catchphrases. Not catchphrases as such, but... Um, Fragments. Yeah, almost. fragments of poems, fragments. but they're quite so tight little. They're meaningful parts pithy. of it, yes. Yeah. Yeah. This, um, I've seen this on the internet yeah. in advance of this show, and it's completely different. The colours come off, got so much, obviously. This yeah. is so much even better. Um, and Dave, you've got Daco in. Me. Those two. Is that mm -hmm. got a bit? Is that no, yellow or something? Okay, those so three there. Yeah. Yeah. Lazy C, three Z. Yeah. That's it. That's a good one. Yeah. And I like the way that your text doesn't take over. It's still a landscape. Yeah. But it's it's both. It's it, 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 yeah. Yeah. It's um. Really. Gavin described them in this um, setting, in this you know set up like this as a kind of comic strip, which I quite like. Ah. They become a sort of you know, yeah. absurd narrative yeah. through the Cornish landscape.